What's going on everyone? Connor here from Gear Reviews bringing you another video. Today I wanted to give my preliminary and sort of first verdict on the Osprey Camber 32. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, make sure you subscribe so that you can see all the other cool videos and reviews I have planned. Now that we've gone through all of the details, the features, and really looked at the whole Camber 32 backpack. Even though I haven't been able to use it on the ski hill and sort of get the practical side, I wanted to give a verdict and my impression after reviewing the bag and really going through those details and features. Going through all of the different features it has online is completely different obviously than in person. So now having reviewed how it holds skis, the hip belt system with the different pockets, the ways to attach all of your different gear that you might have, your goggles, your helmet, the back panel on it with the lay flat opening, the insulated water tube. It's really allowed me to decide if it is a good purchase without having used it. Having taken this deep dive of the backpack and really analyzing and going through everything it has to offer and not using it on a ski hill, I still would recommend this backpack. I think the Camber 32 is very specialized in providing a really good experience for using the backpack and holding all of the gear that you have, really enhancing your experience as opposed to hindering your time on the ski hill. They have a lot of different sizes as well. So if the 32 is not big enough, you can step up to the 42 or you can drop it down to the 20. I really do like the backpack. I think having gone through all of the features, it only solidified that it is a solid piece of gear to use when you go on the ski hill. And when you go to buy a backpack or most gear, you don't get to test drive it. You don't get to take it out, use it on a ski hill. You usually can only really look at it in the store or online or look for reviews like this. So going through all of that in these videos has really allowed me to see everything that the bag can offer without actually using it, but doing it in more detail so that it really does provide the full picture. And if there is anything about the design that doesn't seem like it would work without even having to strap a snowboard or a ski, but it could be a detail that you may not see when you're looking at it in a store or online. So I have to say as a first verdict on the Camber 32, it seems that Osprey is just continuing to show why they make such good backpacks because they put that extra level of detail and effort to allow the bags to adapt and be durable and really think through what they're designing. I really think it is a solid piece of gear to have on your back when you're skiing and snowboarding or cross country skiing, whatever you're doing in the winter. I'd love to know what you guys think on the Camber 32 so far. If you have one and use it out on the hill, definitely let me know down below. I'd love to know how you think it works when you're out there. I plan to use it next season. I'll definitely do some testing videos with it, but before doing any of those, I wanted to give this first verdict just to see how that will change in the future after having used the bag and put it into practical use. I hope you're all doing well and we'll see you all in another video. Bye bye